I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. I'm I'm out of touch. Wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm out of touch. All right. So of course I don't I don't follow TikTok all like that just to know who is all these people that's on this app. Like who all these these so-called connoisseurs of social media. I, I, I just don't know. I, I, I don't know. I heard of this drama unfolding throughout various uh, posts. I, I seen some on Instagram. I seen something on here, but I just didn't know what was, what was going on until you sent me the initial video. So I guess this guy, Keith Lee, I guess he's some sort of what, what, what is he? Like, what, what is he that everybody is, is like all in the uproar when this guy come around, who is he? He's a food reviewer of the neighborhood of like restaurants that, you know, that don't get no recognition. Okay. So he's a food, like just the ordinary guy that just decided to do a social media account mm -hmm. going around to different places, reviewing people's foods. That's it. Right. That's it. Yeah. Like he's not That's like a he's really not like a chef Gordon or 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 like a John Taffer to go around the place to place and, nah. and he's just a he's just an ordinary guy that decided to do a TikTok and on the TikTok just go around just reviewing people's foods and from there he gained a lot of following right okay okay so. Now that I got the understanding of who this guy is, still don't know. Like, where where is he from? From Houston? Where where he's from? Houston? Where where he from? Where? <laughs> but in any case, where where's this guy from? He's what? Houston? I don't know. You need to, North I Carolina? Know. I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So. Now that I got an understanding on who this guy is, what's the controversy that's going on right now? Okay, so basically, you didn't look at the videos last. Like, I, you need to look at it. I appreciate y'all for having us. I see y'all giving out haircuts and doing braids. So we want to leave $1,000 to the barber so we can cut everybody here for free. We want to leave you $1,000 so we can cut that hair. We want to leave you $2,000. Yeah, I appreciate it. And he explains that he was given out, okay, four thousand dollars of the four thousand dollars he was giving a thousand dollars to the haircut guy because he was cutting people hair for free, and a thousand dollars to the girl that was working with the lady and two thousand dollars to the lady the lady the lady of the food truck or yeah of the food truck said that the guy that was cutting hair is not with her she ain't gonna give it to him and she is not gonna give the girl any money so she took the whole four thousand dollars plus eight for herself if he tell me to give them that money knowing that they was not with me and and just to let y'all know she's a scammer. Okay, okay, okay. So, out of nowhere, Keith Lee, that's that's this guy's name, he comes up to this to this food spot. Looks like a food truck. And I I guess he must have ate some of the food. He thought the food was great. And he thought to bless them with four thousand dollars, right? Okay, so let, let me just break this down individually. So if there was a guy there that was doing haircuts for free, why not just go up to the guy and just give him the $1,000 instead of giving it to the lady? What, what, why he didn't do that, did he say? He thought it was a He says, give that barber 
the uh a thousand dollars for cut, free haircuts. There was no free haircuts. My son paid him. There was no free haircuts. He wasn't even there for that. He was never there for that. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on. Let me uh jump in right quick because I, I did go back and watch the entirety of this saga that is going down with the Keith Lee effect. So from what I saw with my own eyes in the video that was recorded at the time, yes, the man did say give the barber $1,000 so that he can give out free haircuts. That means that Keith Lee paid for the rest of the people that was there if they was there for haircuts and maybe any other people that came in afterwards. I mean, a thousand dollars could cut a lot of hair. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So that has nothing to do with what your son has paid. If your son paid the guy to be there, then that's a good thing, too. He was supposed to. It's all part of the promotion. It's all a part of the, of the ambiance. Because it's all part of the plan. Of getting ready for this man to be here. But when the man came and, and blessed the barber, that's the barber's money. He, he said it. Give the barber $1,000. Give the girl that was braiding hair, which we didn't see, $1,000. And here's $2,000 for you. He said that. He said that it's clear as day. How could you misconstrued or misunderstood anything in what that man has said? He said it clear as day. I, I don't understand the, the misconception in that. But see, you... You just had ill intents from the get from the giddy up. You you was there on some fake and fraud stuff. Let's let's just be honest. Be honest. You know your son knew about Keith Lee. He knew he was going to be there. You knew uh, what Keith Lee was about. Maybe y'all didn't know about the money part, but still, y'all knew what Keith Lee will bring to your brand. But when money comes into play, you shouldn't have did that. You should have just went on ahead and and dispersed the money the way the man wanted to be dispersed. Um, he's a food critic, and um, he got popular on Instagram for being who he is. That's why he's a millionaire now. But he he actually thought they all was together. They wasn't all together. She um the the young lady that was her brother. He just came out, and he wasn't cutting hair for free. But he, um, he tried to give him a thousand dollars so he could cut cut the next couple of people here for free, and it was more than four thousand. It was forty eight hundred because he, um, he also told her everybody in the line he go an extra eight eight fifty six to pay for their food. But what she did was get three people get free food, and then after that, uh, when he left, she started back charging. So it wasn't a cash cash um transaction. He put the four um forty eight hundred on his car they you know what's the app called oh okay okay he didn't give her the 4800 in cash so that's why he broke it down like that like yo give her a thousand give my man right here a thousand and 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 800 for the line and then a couple of a couple of grand for yourself because of the quote unquote good deed that you was doing but instead she pocketed she she, she paid, pocketed yeah, all the money. She paid three people. She paid three people and started back charging everybody. Wow. Okay. Now, now that I am caught up with everything, because like I said, it's it's all over social media. Well, in particular, TikTok, because once you sent me the video, and yes, I did watch the video. Once you sent me the video, and then I click on the on the search bar because it says Keith Lee responds. To be honest, there's not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season food truck. Number one, 
Nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas, like everybody else found out we was in Dallas, because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family wasn't in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team, and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post a video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in droves. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand them my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the sun is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash, however y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I see it and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip. I pray in advance that everybody in the situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I'll be safe. A plethora of response videos popped up. This kind of remind me of what happened to that dude with that with that homeless lady at Walmart. I, I, it, I, the, the dude started, if I can remember, he met the lady, her, her kids. They was homeless at Walmart. I put on my story like, hey, if you have any job opportunities for her, please email her. I dropped her email and I said, email her right here. He says she stopped responding to people as if she wasn't interested in the help. So you telling me you don't want to work, but you know, me still being a good person, I'm like, all right, whatever. And I said, but look, I, I got to see you working. I got to see you doing something. You got it. And she didn't want to do none of that. Do you believe that she's a, just a professional panhandler? 100%. And I've already heard the people tell me Union City, that's what they do. He blessed them with, with some money. I can't remember offhand. And he decided to do a GoFundMe for the young lady, which in turn produced it like somewhere in the case, right? So I guess behind the scenes, something happened in him reneging on her getting that money because I guess she yeah, had because to. because she wasn't homeless. She wasn't homeless. She was, that's another good dude. He do that to a lot of people. He, he, he find people in the street and he blessed them. So what she did, she, she sit around and she act homeless so people would give her money. He started to go find me to help her and then turn out that she's not homeless. Okay, okay, okay. And that's why he pretty much reneged on the money. Okay, okay. So now, I, I think that happened like what, last year sometime or mm -hmm. now, fast forward to 2024, another controversy of the same thing is going around, but this time it's with this Keith Lee guy, right? So 
I, I guess my thoughts on it is if I bless somebody with some money, I, I'd rather give it to that individual person. Like the guy that was that was cutting hair, whether that he thought it was family or not, I still would have went to that guy directly and say, hey, man, you're here. I want to bless you a thousand dollars. I don't have cash. You got a cash app. And I'm, I'm sure he do if he's a young guy in these age. But he could have cash apped the money over to the young guy and then could have went back over to the lady and just cash strapped her how much he wanted to give her. And then maybe the other young lady that he wanted to bless, maybe cash out because I, this is 2024. And unless you're a person of my age, a lot of these older folks ain't gonna know nothing about cash app and stuff like that. Hell, my moms don't even know about cash app. So I can understand that part. But for the young, but for, but wait a minute, but for the young, but, but listen, but for the young people, I'm sure they got cash app and he could have just cash app the individual money over to them. But I know what you about to say. It boils down to how. He's a businessman. Uh-uh, he's a businessman. So once he left that food truck, he had to, he go, he, he going to go criticize other people's food. He's a critic. You get what I'm saying? That's a bum bitch. He gave her that money thinking that she's going to do right because she thought he thought that that's just like okay i'm a business owner and um i got people with me you know if you gonna pass me the money and think i'm gonna do right by you you get what i'm saying or do right by the people she's just a bum bitch that's just what she is point blank that's scary that's what she is she's a bum bitch I'm like that and then get on the internet and say that this is this is her next line if he, he want me to give it to her, give it to them, he needs to contact me. He specifically told you, give the barber a thousand, give the, give the young lady on the truck a thousand, and you keep two. And feed the line. It was only 10 people in line. No, she's a bum bitch. And I hope mm -hmm. her business stinks. Because you don't do you don't do wrong by people. I get you. I, I, I hear you. I, and I agree. I agree that she's a, that, that she's a bum bee. I, I I get you because that was totally wrong. That was it was it was not fair for everybody else that was involved that she pocketed all that money and just come on social media now trying to do a social media tour talking about the guys not the, the, the barber wasn't with her, she wasn't he wasn't family and the girl and then I think her son came in and said something to the fact that the that the cash app, his cash app wasn't working or whatever, whatever. I, I don't, I can't see how, I can't see how that is. But I see the cash app was working when she accepted the money, though. And you know what? When he came to her, when he came to her, he was very specific. So right then, she could have stepped up and said, "No, Keith, they're not with me. So I'll take this too, but you keep that too. They're not with me. That's that's an option she could have went." But she took that money with no intentions on doing right. Oh, yeah, of course. Somebody give you $4,000 and you think the person that's giving the money thinking that they're going to do right, only to find, only to find out later that, that the intentions was never to give, give it to them in the first place. But that's, again, that's what I said about giving it to the individual. If that was me, money messes everything up. I would have went to the to the individuals. I would have just went on here and said, hey, my bro, I like what you're doing out here. Here's a thousand dollars, give a couple of cuts on, on me. Same thing with the young, with the young lady. I, I don't know, it's, that, that was her worker, daughter, or whatever the case. Here, hey, I want to bless you right quick for the good deeds that y'all doing out here, but come to find out that the original lady that he gave all that money to, her, her mindset wasn't on wasn't on helping. She got the way she looked at it. She got a cool forty-eight k. Like y'all and my people. Look down to what I just said. Blacks can't get get along. Blacks can't do this. Can't do this. Right. To the animal. Right. And it's fucked up the way she did like that. Right. I agree. I agree. It's 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 a continuing trend. I I honestly don't want to. I honestly don't want to say this, but I've been saying it for years. A lot of us just can't, just can't come together and have peace with one another. It's always somebody trying to get over over on somebody. But like everybody in the, in the comments is saying that she messed up her blessings. Maybe, maybe now that 
this popular food critic blessed you with 48k and you could Im imagine the 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 influx of people especially from tiktok the influx of people that will start coming and messing with your business but now that you did right. that now that you did that it's like you had to start all over from the bottom again because everybody see what you done and they don't want to mess with you yep. Yep. They don't want to mess with you. I could understand how powerful TikTok can be in in some cases, but but yeah, she she had to she had to start start over from the grind or go somewhere else or maybe change the name or whatever the case. Because as of right now, you know her biz her business is affected by it. Mm -hmm. So if her business was her livelihood, then yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe make another video giving the money to the people that you were supposed to give it to. That's, I guess, that would be the turnaround. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me wanna track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama wanna get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy, bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.